Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. What's up, y'all? It's Jamaica. I'm the operation manager of Makita's Homemade Butter Cookies. Tune in to Boss Talk 101 with Money Moses, Miss Jamaica, and ECEO. I'm out. I freaked when I found out. I couldn't even drive. So please believe it hit us in a way that you guys couldn't even imagine. Because like I said, he was considered a brother. That man did not deserve that. Grace and Pamela Hill sat down with me this afternoon as police search for two killers. The Hills tell me their first thoughts are with young Dolph's high school sweetheart and two surviving children. Out of sadness. Maurice and Pamela Hill are not okay. This kind of in a, in a nightmare that we can't wake up from. After their flagship bakery on Airways Boulevard became a murder scene. Hey man, it's crazy because I, this other name is to mess me up, Ooh. man. <laughs> the first time, you know what I'm saying? I know. Are you Jamaica Thick? That is correct. What Why the you hell? Where you get that name from now? I got me a Jamaica right here. I'm Young Dolph, I see you wearing yeah. the Dolph T-shirt. Oh yeah. So you got yeah. that? You 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 got that one made? Uh, this one actually um, was uh, it was a some, a guy that was selling sweatshirts. You yeah. Know, and I saw him. I just had to have one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so for our viewers and for, for the people who don't know, Makita Cookies is a place where young Dolph uh, was killed. Yeah. Um, how, that's, how long has it been now? About three months, maybe? Roughly. 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 And so, months, so yeah. and, 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 you know, we, hey man, you know, we hated to see that happen. It, it, shock, yeah. it sent shockwaves through, uh, just through out people who love music people who watch what's going on with hip-hop you know mm -hmm. i had went viral talking mm -hmm. about it before because when a long it, time ago a long time ago before this even happened and, and so you know when when i when i first seen this I, i'm not i'm gonna be real with you um when i started researching because me and you talked i was like man let me go back and look there's a video where when i put your name in uh it pops up with you and you pretty much just showing homage to cmg um, I, that video popped up first. I'm not yeah. playing. It I was believe like, you. I'm telling you. It's, so it'd probably be in search more or whatever. But at any rate, what was that? Was that because uh, we know they had differences? Was it what was the uh, connection with you and CMG? When 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 I think about it though, how because you hear all these all these uh, conspiracy uh, yeah. people talk about this or that and things that they say how, because you know. I look at things and I'm like, man, you know, I, for him to be driving around in those areas, I know you guys probably were used to that, but from the yeah. outside looking in, you you like, man, dang, like it's it's like certain things. Like I had a homeboy that pulled up here the other day in his Lambo truck. Um, he grew up here. It's not something that he do all the time. We was yeah. doing the show, um, and um, but at the end of the day, that's like he was like a sore thumb sticking out. You know, people that came by, I see him walk by several times because of the yeah. vehicle that's parked there because of how expensive it is. Mm -hmm. So, was it something that that Dolph just done? Did he when he would drive, he'd bring up, drive any kind of car up or whatever? Yeah, he was comfortable. I mean, that's your city. I mean, I don't know how it is in other cities and states, but in Memphis, my love is love with us. Like, that's how he felt. You know, I'm in my hood. You know, I'm comfortable here. I don't want to be, you know, known as that multimillionaire artist. You know, when I come home, I'm home, and people see me as Adolf, you know, or they see me as Dolph, but they don't, they're not starstruck and so hung up on it. You know, I can come home. Said that on his channel. The only thing that I felt like I should have done different was I shouldn't have talked to the press when I did in the beginning. That was it. That video I keep bringing up. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, I'm I'm kind of like the spokesperson person for my family. So when my mom, because my mom was sitting on the side of me, she didn't want to talk. It was people just constantly coming up, can get get a statement, get a statement. And then you got folks coming saying, "Yeah, y'all gotta say something, man. This just happened in y'all shop. Y'all gotta say something." And what people don't know, which I actually did stay on scope, man, that interview was probably about 10, 15 minutes long. Y'all only saw two minutes. They chopped that interview up some serious. It was to the point when everybody started talking about it, I was like, well, damn, what did I say? I had to go back and listen to it because mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how y'all come to this conclusion that we did it. What yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.